Hey, we're back with another episode of my Let's Play series of Space Exploration Factorio. So, guess what? We fast forwarded a bunch of the uh, the tech trees here, and I'll show you what we've got unlocked. Um, it's gonna be kind of hard to show you what I have unlocked, but one of them being these guys right here new smelters that work faster along with steel production now can go a little bit faster and we are going to go upgrade all of these to steel at some point um they smelt faster and they um consume a little bit more fuel i believe but that should be no problem because that's what's going to make sure we don't fall ever short on these plates for this setup we also expanded a bit our science production because it was taking forever to um learn all of those new techs so I installed a few more of these and we have plenty to go around like we could expand onto this further um, now we're gonna run out of space um, too but what I did think about doing was maybe figuring out how to make this a very efficient setup um, and then installing it into another mod that I had installed that we also did some research for which is the factory mods um, you know where you can um, build a factory um, let's see, can we see here? We also got some more electrical poles that we did. Fluid dynamics, here we go. Factorismo. Um, allows me to build a factory building um, with some stone, iron plates, and some copper. So we need quite a bit. And then what it does is it allows us to place it down and then put all of these things inside of it. And then it's just a box on this. It'll be like, a, a, it'll be the, the resources going to it. And then boom, there'll be a box. And then that box contains whatever you want to put in it, like a mini factory. It's like a inception of factory within a factory, right? So rather than just building a factory on the ground like this with these machines, we can actually put them inside a building and then we can work inside that building um, over time and then output from that building, say, um, red and green sciences. And those red and green sciences can then output into these guys here and they can use the green science and the red science to do what we need to do or we could do the entire thing inside of there and then we'll never have to see the science production outside it'll just be all contained in and that would do the same thing for like all of this like i would like to make a what i would like to call a mall where the mall is creating all the things that i can just go pick up and shop for all the things i need to build so that would be great and that could be inside an actual building it would look like a mall um so that's one of the things we may do in the future um, with that new science that we got um, we also did some weapons upgrades um, turrets and walls uh, we needed walls in order to do the uh, factories we like i said we have lighted mods now but we also have medium electric poles so these guys um don't go they don't have such a large area of effect i believe but they can travel farther so let's take a look uh, where are you and this one's a lighter one yeah so it's got a larger effect but it could also stretch a little bit farther which is kind of nice so but they also take up um i believe oh no, they take up only one slot so this allows us to uh reduce the amount of poles that we need in certain places um it allows us to move them around a bit so that's that's an option um i'm not cons i'm not so sure what i want to do with them yet but um, I will go ahead and add the lighted pole to that option. Um, and I want to build a small wooden lighted pole here too. Um, and then we'll add the lighted pole here. That way we can... I'm not going to convert these over just yet, but um, lighted poles are great for down the line. Um, what else did we unlock? Um, we just did fluid dynamics. Uh, let's see if I click one of these things that we were on a chain of uh, we did automation too so now we can build another um, automation um, uh, assembling machine that will be a little bit faster um, we did recycling factory which I want to build one of those so I can do some recycling of products in which I don't need strong box I have not done yet um, but they're basically a larger item container they can hold a lot more items um, and they're a two by two area so that's kind of cool but I have not unlocked that yet um let's see what else nanobots we didn't do anything with we haven't needed any more inventory space as of yet fluid dynamics we just opened up landfill we did nothing with uh that was the main things i think we touched upon um yeah automation was a big one this is going to be a big one too 
Uh, we did the whatever uh, we did one more so that when we have the factory built that there's lights on the inside we might want to get into solar at some point um not that we are desperate for it but we will at some point and we still haven't done our filter inserter so that's that's going to be next so we really want to have filter inserters going forward because then if we wanted to we can have them pull out only specific things from a line like say for instance on these combination lines you know, regular inserter will grab whatever is on the line and try to move it into another line or into an object. So we'll put a filter inserter on certain things and that way we know it's only to grab certain things. Also, um, I noticed I have my old blueprint library here for vanilla. Now certain things don't function here. So this, this was a, for green circuits. This is not how you make green circuits anymore. This was my nice compacted version of this. Um, and this would have been really nice to find out before I built my other thing and made the mistakes I did. But you can see it's a lot, it's very similar. Oh, geez, we're moving. It's very similar. Um, it's a little bit more compact. And what also it does is it requires less belts. Um, because in the middle belt there would have been, um, fuel and, uh, or in the middle, um, I believe. And then on the outside would have been iron. And the iron would have been, um, Combined. Or actually, no, maybe it's the other way around. On the outside, there would have been fuel. Yeah, on the outside, there would have been fuel and iron, and then on the inside, it would have been the plates. So that that one I like better than these setups, and if I do convert this over, um, it clearly needs a little bit more space to be fully functioning, so we, we might have to delete downwards here a little bit um, to do it. Um, but we're not in any rush for it and i kind of want to leave it as it is and then when we find a better iron patch then we'll go build them a little bit more efficiently um and i believe this one is also uh let me take a look is it is it um electric bur electric ones yeah i think we could fit electric ones in there too no actually we won't be able to do electric it's not upgradable to electric so it, it's possible we'll use that in the future um a balancer which is great um, this blueprint is not going to work for us either because that's for science. Um, but a balancer is great because then if we have four lines, which eventually we will, it'll balance the four lines out. Um, uh, what I could do is I could split uh, up this remaining line here and, um, you know, like we already have a splitter and then a splitter coming off of it. And now we have one fourth of it now coming this way. And then we could rebalance this so that it comes out to four lines and we can always have four lines. Um, I thought about maybe doing this first and then grinning it out to four lines. A balanced four lines splitter that breaks them up into four evenly balanced lines. And then we can borrow from them. So I might drop these in. Um, where it can be done i built too close to this i should have built it out longer um but we'll see that's another thing we might do at some point um so yeah we, that is where we're at now and the real goal here is to i want to play with um seeing where we can go next so we don't need fuel i don't see liquid fuels anywhere close here's crude oil there's our first biter bases um, there's a nice iron patch over here, so that's probably where we'll get our iron from. And I uh, just don't see any more iron in a reasonable spot for us right now. So that's probably where we'll get our iron from uh, And after this is depleted. And then we'll have to build our smelting arena a little bit more uh, central. And we'll have to clear out all these trees. We'll probably have to clear out these biters um, and things like that. But and there's some stone over there oh that's great so this this will be where we build our main uh, facility at this is just our our like let's get production going so that we can have science uh, start getting what we need but over here maybe where we actually like start to be more efficient and um building a much better system so that way i mean we can still do the power from here that's for sure but this is where we do all of that so we're gonna go do quite a few uh bit of things over here let's go explore um there's our cord miner. Let's clear out. One of the things I'm going to want to do is I hate cliffs. I absolutely hate cliffs. Um, we're definitely going to want to get something that um, clears out the cliffs at some point. Um, we're going to need some stone because we're going to be crafting a bunch of uh, 
smelters and the smelter stations need uh, stone so all right yeah look at the size of that great beautiful sweet deal let's go ahead and have these nanobots take down these trees that we don't need um, and then um, yeah and then we'll, we'll bring over we'll check in with you guys once I have um, established uh, a couple of mine actually you know what we can do smelting arena yeah we can go ahead and like plan out how we want this to look um, smelting arena smelting arena yeah we could do it just kind of like that um, I'd like f this is gonna make four lines so we might as well build four lines worth of these things so let's build one let's build one here after that's done deconstructing just like that and we'll build another one there so let's go ahead and clear this out okay let's go ahead and collect that at the very least Get rid of the stone out of here because we're going to, A, like I said, need it to build these smelters or to build these um, furnaces, but we're also going to need it for clearing out the area so that we have enough space. All right, I think that did it. All right, it's all the stone. Okay, good. So let's go ahead and build another one of these. I mean, I could build it right up against it. Um, that doesn't give, again, for much space for expansion if we need to, so let's go ahead and do that one. Another line. Three. Four. Just like that. All right, cool. And then, can we build construction nanobots? Where are you in construction nanobots? Do you exist? Here. Construction nanobots. Revives entity goes using items in your inventory okay so yeah it would do it um, now it's looking for vanilla um, things here so we're gonna have to build a few vanilla ones of these and then we're gonna have to build um, vanilla nanobots which require iron sticks so yeah we're gonna go and stock up on all the things that we need here we'll come back and then we'll watch the nanobots do the work all right see you in a moment all right so we're here um, I don't know how we use our construction nanobots. We have them built. Revised entity ghost in range using items. Uh, also repairs damage. Recipe construction bots. Oh, can it build? Oops. Can you build? I got the nanobots. How do they work? Construction nanobots. Do your thing. I thought you would construct. Revives entity ghosts in range using items in your inventory. Also repairs damaged entities. Yeah, why not? Do you need need to make these things if that's all you need then I'll go ahead and build a couple don't know that's what you need though I really just like guessing here I don't understand see this is why knowing what you're doing helps a lot Yep, I have no idea what I'm doing. I would think that the construction bots would know what to do. Revives entity ghosts in range using items. It use revives them? Oh, are we talking just repairs? If that's the case, we'll go to these nanobots. If they can't build anything. 
Let's take a look at the nanobot tree. Range of your nanobots, range of your nanobots, range of your nanobots. Okay, so maybe nanobots don't do anything. Well, that's a failure. But at least we now see what it is I'm building, and I believe I have enough items here to do what I need to do. So we're going to go ahead and build it, um, and we'll do it ourselves. With that also being said, we don't we don't need to use the types of poles I was talking about. We could build the other types of poles, but we don't have any lamps made, and we don't have any iron with us to do it, so we're going to be using the old poles. I'm just mad. Maybe it's because it's an old blueprint. I don't know. Let's get these poles down first. Hopefully I put them all in the right places. But... This is going to be more iron than we need to, to do anything with, but um, it'll be um, it'll keep us running for a long time, um, and that is the main goal. Is that even if we're overproducing, it won't produce. Ugh, damn, it won't produce because we've uh, got plenty already and so therefore it's gonna go stalemate you know just gonna sit there on inactive all right so all the power lines are put down let's go put down all of the stone furnaces yeah I definitely didn't make enough stone furnaces Yep, we're going to be short, like, I don't know, 30 of them. But that's okay. Can we make more? Yeah, not much more. Where's more stone? There we go. There's got to be more stone nearby. There we go. I love the long reach. It seems so cheaty, but honestly... Who wants to see me running all the way over there for some stone? Not me. Let's just build them all. Did I really build two of them? I'm an idiot. Just like that. Boom. Okay. Look at that, just enough. Built it perfectly. All right, now we can go ahead and build our paths. <laughs> it's such a silly thing that I'm doing it this way, but it's because I have the long reach. Otherwise, it would be a lot closer. It would just be me standing this close going like this. Okay, we're just going to keep doing that because it's going to make it easy. See you in a moment. We are back, and let's finish uh, putting this stuff down. Uh, <laughs> wrong button. Okay. Should have enough now. <clears throat> I say should, because I have, I think, over 300, and I just used about 200 there. But we should be good. All right. And let's go ahead and put down some splitters. This 
this setup I really like because it does exactly what you intended to do which is just be balanced with creating things uh, we did our tool belt upgrade let's go ahead and do the heavy armor upgrade not that we're about to do that right this moment we're just keeping the science occupied that's really the main thing Oh, we didn't put one down there. Okay. And then a few more belts here. So that's what a finished one looks like. Well, it's not finished. It still needs the inserters. But you get the idea. Mm, excuse me. I apologize. I did eat breakfast, but my burp made me feel hungry. All right. All right, now all the belts are set up. Now to put down hopefully enough of our inserters. We'll start with the top and I'll work our way down. We'll start with the ones that are facing up first. Um, like this. Just like that. I wish is where I wish we had our ghosts because they would just do it all for us no problems now I could not build these all up completely and not have them function because I haven't even hooked up the drills that we're gonna need yet here um, obviously we're gonna need drills um, you know, we don't even have them hooked up, but, um, I, I just want to be prepared and I want to have it as much, much of it done as possible. Um, so that way the expansion part later, doesn't, uh, come in a factor and we can just be ready to go. Um, so we, we are definitely not going to have enough of these guys now that I'm looking at it. So we'll have to go back and get more and we're out. And uh, we'll be back again. Another trip to the mall. This is why we need them all. Okay, so we're back. We're going to finish this off. As you see, we're crafting up some minor drills because obviously to supply this, we're going to need some minor drills. We're going to focus on keeping one of these lanes fully occupied right now. We're not going to do very much more than that. I don't know how many we're going to need to satisfy this, but we'll probably put 10 just to be safe. And I think I have more than 10 for now. And we'll do that uh, to keep this one fully uh, fully brought up I don't know the exact ratio of what it'll be so let's get back to planting our yep our inserters we are almost done oops okay since it's already facing this way let's go ahead and do those Darkness, man. Almost done. Seriously? Am I out of... I thought I grabbed more. Jeez. Well, we're here. So let's set up the, the drills first. We got 18 drills, so we'll set up 10 of them. Um, let's be fair here. Um, four... I think it's enough for that. Um, we'll start with doing it like this. One, two, three, four. Character was in the way. <laughs> Five. And honestly, we don't know that we need to do crazy bits for that. Um, that's, that's fine. We'll start with that. Um, that should be a fully loaded belt. We'll just bring it all the way between like this and just have it drop on like that. Let's back this up. Put one like that. That's fine. It'll still do the job. And then 
believe all we need is to bring in one lane. We'll put a, can we put that balancer here? I, I mean, I don't know that it's important to put the balancer. Um, but it's going to do this job of the splitter here. So that's so this is going to put coal uh, uh, iron on either side. And the iron's going to go down the south side. And then over here... Oops, this needs to curl back in like that. I did these wrong. I thought I did something wrong. That one I didn't even finish. Just like that. Yeah, that's better. There we go. Okay, so now what's going to happen here is I can lead all of this into one side and one side will get a split of 50-50 iron and the other side will get a split of 50-50 um, fuel. So it doesn't really matter which way they go into each other. Right now we have it lined up like this. So this will be the 50-50 fuel side, 50-50 uh, iron side, and this will be the 50-50 fuel. And then we'll start with that. We just need to get some power over here. Are we out of power lights already? No. Yeah, we have these ones. I was like, I thought we had some. Yeah, building them too close. Building them too close. Creates a bit of a problem. They don't need to be right on top of each other, but they do need to be somewhat spaced out. Enough that we could put power lines down that maybe that's fine build a few more we have the ability to do lights let's do the lighted ones where we can okay lighted ones that's covering those four. Alright, everybody's covered here. Alright, just now we need to get power brought over to it. Um, so let's go ahead and do some power line um, automation here. Let's bring it over that you didn't automatically switch over so we have to switch over ourselves and it's raining outside okay bring this over don't know that we're gonna make it nope Nope. Dang. Alright, so we'll have to build a few more. But we need trees for that. Need some wood. Clear these out. And then we need some copper. Copper plates will do. I guess I ought to have some of these right next to it just in case we run out of the other. All right, now we should be all doing our job here. Yeah, and see these aren't lit, but that, that's okay. And now you should be making. All right, so you got power. Oh, I got these facing the wrong direction. So like I'm a complete idiot, and you guys probably all caught that. Just like that. All 
I could probably flip these too. Now that I'm thinking about it, just like that, to help even that out a bit. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Now we got plenty, making it a little bit even, more even. All right. So now we just need to get fuel over here. I don't do steam power. More efficient power from steam, supposedly. I don't, I don't believe it. We're gonna start oil processing. Even though we're not really doing that. Okay, so we now need to get fuel brought all the way over here. So let's bring that over here. That's the fastest way here. So we want to bring it over probably just straight across like this. Um, yeah, straight across like that. So let's just go ahead and do that. like that and we won't have enough but it's fine and we're out okay so let's clear the path with our nanobots at least the nanobots are doing something for us they clear the pathway to make a straight uh, wonderful we're not gonna have an easy pathway here because of the cliffs. Actually, do we have a way to do nanobot clearing of cliffs? I could have sworn there was a way that we could do that. Could have sworn there was like a way to do cliff clearing nanobots. Because that would be wonderful. I hate cliffs. I thought I'd turn them off before I started this, but I guess I didn't. Yeah, I guess I didn't. Well, oh, there we go. Nano explosives. So that's going to be next, for sure. Can we get down this way? That's the real question. Yeah, so at least we could bring it over. Um, we'll bring it through that path. Yeah, yeah, we'll be fine. We can do it. All right, so that's good. Good to know. Let's go get some more of these. Everybody's doing okay. We're all we're functioning here. Production's good. We are producing four megawatts. We got enough. Okay. So let's go ahead and bring a splitter out of here. Just like that. For now, we'll only bring half the amount over. We don't need to bring it all with us. Um, oh, this this all could have been destroyed. Ugh. I want to save as many of these belts as possible, but we've already built it, so whatever. Clear this out. Huh, well at least you, you're smart. Not that I want that, but... Dang, we're short again. Alright, well we'll finish that off in just a moment. We will resume with you guys once all... Wow, destroy all those trees. Get rid of them. I don't want them. Let's collect a little bit of wood while we're here, though. Doesn't hurt to have some wood. <laughs> they can clear the trees out. That's fine, but I just need some wood. Just some. I'm also going to need some of this stone. 
so it's okay that I harvest it, but I do want to have the cliffs get them. Tired of the cliffs. Really fucking tired of the cliffs. Get the last of this stone here. Alright. Let's go get the remainder of the belts we need. This is a long path for belts. I mean, honestly, this would not be my solution overall. I'd let these things be closer to each other, but they are not, so... This is what we're dealing with. Alright, let's go finish this so that we can then get that iron production started. Um, with the fuel that we have... Let's just finish it off this way since we're already coming all the way this way out that way. And then we'll just suck up all that. And now we should have a functioning output of iron plates that we can then rebuild all of this. Now, again, I could do that factory thing I was talking about where I put all of these in a factory. I thought maybe doing that, but I figured like, oh, the smelting stuff can happen outside, and then maybe the, the all the production stuff could happen later, or w maybe we can do these inside. I, I don't know. Like, I haven't really quite thought about all that. You got to think of really far ahead for all that, and where is it? Here's all of our fluid productions we could do now. Jeez. Um, new, neural gel, liquid, cryonite. Oh, my goodness. These are all fluid dynamics that we can used in our pipes it seems there's so much and then we have barrels emptying of barrels no thanks I, I mean barrels are cool and all and i've never really gotten into trains but i know you can move train liquids with trains and barrels uh let's build the heavy armor we'll need some steel for that all right um what can we do what, what was i just saying i wanted to do i want to look into the the whole factory thing here we go iron plates fire squeak through combat Required cannot be placed on a space platform or spaceship. Our toggle port markers requires alternate view. Okay, so that's something we might consider doing. Do I have this in reverse? That's funny. There's just no power going to it. That's funny. Alright, so with that being done, now we are making our iron plates and this will all seize up and we'll have a backlog of all this stuff at some point. Um, and then we'll be okay. We'll be alright. So now that that's being done, we can then focus on building our um, place up a little bit more efficiently here. Uh, I definitely want to get these medium poles done at some point because they, they believe yeah, they have larger areas. I don't know. We're going to worry about that later. We're going to finish off building the rest of this off camera. And then once this is all finished being built, um, we will expand using it with more drills over time. We, we don't necessarily need them right this minute, so there's no real rush to have them. Uh, Especially since when I think this is already enough that's supplying our current base. We already have that. We kind of just need to move the whole base over here in order to do that. Or we just rebuild the base here and we just do things differently here. Maybe dedicate that section to doing different things um, now that we have all of that, all of this doing this. Um, so what we'll do is we'll, we'll check in with you guys in the next episode when I have... Uh, a few more research is done maybe we will start transporting and figuring out how to do these things more efficiently over there um, this is kind of my mall right now and my science and so maybe we can go over there and we could start upgrading a science production system that makes more sense um, granted some of the science like this one does require a mall here so you kind of need all of this in order to do that um, uh, I just like to rebuild it and be more efficient with it. So 
Um, in the next episode, we will rebuild this over there um, in a more efficient fashion. Um, and yeah, and we won't need won't be needing all of this here. Um, we we I'm not going to get rid of it because I think it's perfectly fine and it'll help speed up the processes if we have these two separate little mini bases going on. But over there is going to be a little bit more um, expansion proof. You know, we'll be able to expand a bit more with no real consequences. Um, the same way here. I know right now we just have um, a really limited space um, and tight tight quarters. So in this episode, we are finished. I would appreciate you guys stopping by. As always, this is Chuck Thunder signing out. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you think, what suggestions I should make, maybe what I should go on to next. I know the goal here is to try to get to launching a rocket, so that is obviously the main goal. But right now we are worried about just being a little more efficient with making all of this happen. I want to figure out how to do science really efficiently and do all of this efficiently. So we're going to spend the time to... Um, I'm not going to be super efficient, but I want to be a little more organized with it so much. Because um, I know this isn't the most efficient use of the red science and the green science, and we're kind of stacked up. And I want to work on a, um, a green science and a red science system that makes a little more sense physically so that things aren't weaving in and out. Um, and that everything is feeding off of each other. Because now that we know what things require, like this requires gears and that, and this requires plates and this, like we could build this in a way that doesn't quite get so spaghetti-like. Um, so yeah, we're going to see you guys in the next episode. Thanks again for watching. Chuck Thunder setting out. Take it easy.